All right, welcome to another episode of the Raw Apes Podcast. I was just talking to Ivan that Chris Levin got beat by a guy that did uh, gay porn. <laughs> he beat him in bare knuckle boxing. It hey, was he the receiver or the from what from what I well I heard he was he did gay porn um, a long time ago. So he went into the Ultimate Fighter. Oh I really? Yeah, I don't know what season. So he went into the Ultimate Fighter, and. From there, that's where it got out that he um, that he did get porn, and I think he even talked up. He talked about it probably in interviews. He said, uh, "Yeah, I was having uh, he was having bad luck, right? Not having basically he was broke, right? Uh-huh. He was broke and he needed to make money. Uh-huh. And, he, and he did gay, you know, porn, gay porn. Dang. And, and on on the other podcast, they were talking about it. I think it was the uh, Fighter and the Kid podcast." <laughs> They were like, oh, yeah, you know, Chris Levin's fighting something Cochrane. That, that's his last name. Uh-huh. Levin versus Cochrane's are like, yeah, this guy, he did gay porn. And they go um, they go on, on Google and they put his name, porn. And then they start seeing, like, they don't show, obviously, the images, but just blurry. But it's like two dudes and this was fucking this guy. <laughs> I was oh, like, oh, damn. damn. Hey, they must. I mean, I wonder how much they pay for him to do gay porn rather than straight porn. I mean, unless he's gay. Well, well, yeah. Well, think about it. They're going to pay you. If you're open to doing both, they're going to pay you more, right? Because there's less people to do gay porn than regular you know? porn. How do you know? Sounds like you've, you've uh, looked, I've looked into up. this. <laughs> well, think about it. More, more guys are going to be willing to fuck a girl. So they're not going to pay you as much. Uh, because they're going to be like, oh, we have plenty of guys to fuck these porn stars. No, I don't... I, I see what you're saying, but I think what it is is maybe there's not a lot of people looking at gay porn. Rather, actually, I don't know. No, I think so. that is what I'm yeah, saying is that know. there's obviously there's more people that are willing to to fuck girls, right? Mm. But he has to be bi at least, right? He can't be like straight because he said, "Oh, I'm not gay." Uh-huh. I mean, you're not he's bi curious. <laughs> well, well, I'm see, he's into both. Yeah, I guess. Because how are you going to be like, oh, you need money, man. I'm going to do gay porn. Hey, like, I no, guess if it's... You would was, fucking do... He was, uh, he was desperate, man. I guess. I mean, I wouldn't do it. But that, you could be desperate. You could just look for, um, you know, shit, any, I mean, any shitty job. Well, maybe the pay payout the was good. Um, talking about uh, Bare Knuckle. Talk about the Malinaji and Loba fight. So it was a five-round fight. So I had taken um, Malinaji and I did bet on them. Right, <laughs> he was the favorite, so I I put like fifty two to win twenty. He, he was, was a favorite. favorite. Yeah, he was really? a favorite. Yeah, the because fuck? yeah, because well, he's yeah, the experienced he's boxer, boxer yeah. and is, they're just using hands. I know it's bare knuckle, which you know I still gave obviously low ball of a chance. That's why I did the breakdown of of the fight. But the the most important one was his hands. So it seems that he did mess up his hand like by the second round because the first two rounds he was walking down low ball. And just boxing him up, you know? Lobo was throwing, nothing was landing. And starting in the third round, you see Polly just use his left. He probably threw one punch with his right. Didn't really um, do much. But, th- but that third round was close. Like, I, I had to rewatch it. Um, because, you know, they gave it, they ended up giving it to Lobo the decision. When they gave the decisions to Lobo, I was surprised. I was like, Dude, he didn't he didn't land shit. So the third round, I guess he was putting the pressure in the third round, and that's what probably the judges judges gave him the decision. Mm-hmm. So the third round, I guess it was close. Then the fourth and fifth, um, Polly was just moving around. He was kind of running. I think he knew, fuck, my hand is messed up. And then he started saying that in the post conference, um, his left hand was getting fucked up because he was throwing so many jabs, just using his left. Oh, so then his left hand was getting uh, busted up. But, but his, his right, right hand broke, broke right? He oh, said right. he said that he feels like it's broken, but he doesn't know that um, for sure, right, at the moment. Mm-hmm. Because he said, I felt this sensation before through boxing. So he said, I don't know if it's broken, but it, it feels like something's really wrong with it. So, I mean, that was the issue. And that, that was the issue. That was the breakdown, right? If he breaks his hand... That's how Lobov could end up winning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if his hands were good for he would have boxed him up. I mean, those first two rounds, Lobov wasn't doing shit. I was all like, oh, this kind of sucks. But Polly wasn't like, 
like destroying them you know he was like he was very cautious of um mm-hmm. of exchanging so it was um it was an okay fight i thought it was actually going to be better i didn't think it was going to go all the way i thought like someone, someone was gonna get yeah knocked out. someone was going to get knocked out but you know the the thing is that you saw the Lobov and Jason Knight fight. Mm-hmm. Okay, there they would allow him to fight more in the in the clinch, dirty box. Uh huh. But in oh, here, no. I, I noticed. Yeah, they were. That was bullshit. Fast. I'm pretty sure like Paul Paulie did that and was telling them, "Hey, if if we clinch up, you guys got to break us up real quick." You think so? I'm pretty sure because why would they do that? Why wouldn't they let him fight? Let them fight in the clinch. I don't know. I, they were, as soon as they, they would uh, clinch up, the ref would go in there and break them up, mm-hmm. which, which was kind of weird. The other fight that Lobov had, they would let them fight in the clinch. That's why I thought, like, ooh, Lobov is going to have an advantage in the clinch. It's just going to start fucking them up. Mm-hmm. But they would know. break it up real quick. Except that I think it was, like, the fourth round where he actually did end up um, catching Polly in the clinch and ended up that making that big gash um, by his eye. So he had, like, three cuts. Uh, Polly did. Lobov had, like, minor cuts. Um, but, yeah, Lobov ended up winning the fourth and fifth round because Polly was just just moving away. He wasn't really boxing. He was just running away. So, yeah, they ended up giving a Lobov and Polly. You know, at the end, they ended up giving each other props, which I didn't think they yeah, were going to do. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Like, even, um, what's his, uh, Polly at the sound of the of the bell the fifth round he fucking like not bowed but w- what is it when uh when you greet someone uh you, you put, put their your, your one hand yeah back in the and back one fan on the front of your like waist yeah yeah like that uh, he did he ended up doing for that real yeah he I did that. See that what the fuck yeah uh that's, that's like, like some shit you'll do like, like to a king, king. yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey but artem is the goat uh, so the goat you know and then at the end um you know they were just giving each other props even at the um, conference, a post-fight conference. Loba was saying, "Yeah, you know, he's a he's a fighter. He came to fight, so you know, I give him respect." I think it's crazy how this all came about, all came to be because because of McGregor, basically. Yeah. Because yeah, because Malinaji went to uh, quote unquote help McGregor, um, you know, with sparring. And, yeah. But then turned into beef, and then turned into a bare knuckle fight with one of McGregor's training partners. And, and Polly said, like, oh, I'm kind of glad that this happened because that he, in a way that he's happy that they didn't give him the decision because if they did, he would have kept fighting. Oh, okay. And he said, this is probably a sign that's like, hey, just get out, you know. Uh-huh. And then, and he even said, like, it's kind of cool that, that they did give it a low buff because, you know, he has he's going to continue fighting. He's still going to continue fighting. And, you know, he just had a kid and. He he could um he could benefit from this, mm-hmm. so that was that was kind of cool that yeah. he just like <laughs> that's fuck crazy. It. Yeah. Like they're like <laughs> beefing it up before, and now all of a sudden they're like cool. Yeah, cool shit. I didn't think they were gonna be, but it was probably just to sell tickets. Yeah, well for sure. But damn, he even spit on his face. That's why it was like <laughs> way overboard. I wonder how much they're getting paid. I don't know. They, I don't think they've released the numbers. You know, in the UFC they'll release the purses. Yeah. But in the bare knuckle, mm. they haven't released them. Interesting. Okay, now we're going to go to the UFC, the Moicano and Aren't Korean Zombie. No, we're just going to oh, do okay. it in the whole right. the whole episode. Moicano and Korean Zombie. No, it's just one fight. Imagine yeah, we cut true. it. Yeah, five yeah, minutes. I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, Korean Zombie was the underdog, right? His last fight was against Yair. Yeah, that he war, he ended up getting knocked the, out. Like, last second. And Moicano, his last fight was um, uh, Aldo. The Aldo fight, right? So, you know, we thought Moicano was going to win, right? He lost to Jose Aldo. Korean Zombies also lost to Jose Aldo. But Renato hasn't been in, you know, his last fight. I mean, he got stopped by Jose Aldo, but it wasn't a war, right? Yeah. He no. just, you know, got blitz and then stopped. But Korean Zombie had that war with Yair. So we didn't know how he was going to come back. But, um, well, this only lasted 58 seconds, so you couldn't really see if the damage, you know, accumulated. But I mean, that, yeah. that counter was perfect. Like, perfect. Like, you know, he's been, he's working on his boxing. Because most fighters don't really counter like that. Very few fighters 
counter he counter i thought he just threw a overhand right. well that's how he countered the the jab mm. when you know this guy's a longer reach so to counter that jab you you go over the jab with the overhand right caught him perfect and, and it was a hard shot fuck yeah you, it you heard him and what are these 145ers yeah 145 Jumped that him. fucking punch rocked him and he just started you know ground and pounding him took his back yeah, took his back, just started ground and pounding. I mean, just destroyed him in that 58 seconds. I, I felt bad for Moicano. Um, did he? So he just started grinding. Yeah, right? It was just ground and pound. Ground and pound. And I think at one point, uh, Moicano got, like, he went from his knees to his back. Uh, but you could just tell, like, he was, like, he was just done, you know? And, yeah, Korean Zombie just kept grinding, uh, ground and pounding him. Yeah, he, he was hurt, you know. A lot of times, like, we see people that they're kind of hurt and they kind of just give up something just to get out of the fight. Yeah. But uh, this one, it just seemed that he um, he was just, like, he was out. He he just couldn't. He wanted to, but he couldn't do it. So I mean, the, it's so good I, for the Korean Zombie because he just, uh, like, coming coming out of the Urear fight, like, he's all banged up, you know. And to have a fight like this, like, with no injuries, that's good. Good for him. Yeah, that is good. So he ended up beating uh, Moicano. So Moicano was ranked number five. So oh, somebody uh, said like, oh, like Jose Aldo and the Korean Zombies should like run it back. I like to see that. But Jose Aldo, what was his last fight at? Uh, it was against Alexander. Oh, oh, oh was that one forty five? Yeah. Oh, okay, so he could. Oh, I thought it was at one fifty five. No. Nah. Okay, so yeah, they should run it back, right? Because Jose lost his last fight too. Against uh, Volkanovski. Yeah, Volkanovski. That would be good because that fight ended, you know, his shoulder got fucked up, Korean zombie. Yeah. This would just started kicking it over and over and then punching him and it's, you know, and they stopped the fight. That would be good. I wouldn't be mad at that actually because I was, just, we we're looking at the rankings. Who should zombie fight next? Hey, oh, Jeremy some... Stevens called them out. Oh, for real? That'd be a good that's fight. That's a good too. fight too. Jeremy Stevens called them out. Hey, that's the only other fight that makes sense. Stevens or Aldo. But Stevens is already calling him out. They're making the the job for the UFC easier. Yeah, they're just they're gonna book that fight. I wonder who Yuri is gonna fight next. Because I mean, who's the oh, beat fighting? Beat? The beat fight. He, I don't think he has a fight. Lined the beat does have someone lined you up. Sure? Yeah, he has someone so. lined up. And I thought they were gonna book Yair and the beat, but the beat has um has someone lined up. I don't think it's that good of a fight for him. I think Yair? it's Brian Ortega. No. No. Who, your ear? No, no, Zabit. Oh, uh, Zabit? No, he's not fighting Brian Ortega. Or if he is, it hasn't been announced. Set for UFC 240. What? Yeah. When's 240? Are you clicking? Or... This was in May where they um they talked about it. I think that's rumors because it hasn't been Cause announced. I, I, I rem- no, I remember even in the podcast, I heard it. I heard them talking about it. 240... Close to being finalized. That's a fight that they want to make. Hmm. That's a tough fight for both guys. That they want to make or they made? They're close to finalizing. Hmm. That's the fight that I heard nice, about. Nice, nice. That's a... That's a good fight. Yeah. So I guess Korean Zombie versus Jeremy Stevens would be a good fight. And then we go to the Bellator fight card. So you had James Gallagher versus Jeremiah Labiano. I thought... Well, I didn't see the other guy, the other guy fights. So I thought you know James Gallagher was gonna probably run through him because you know the in Bellator they they're trying to build up James Gallagher mm-hmm. right for that um, that audience, the Irish uh, audience, and it was an okay fight. He ended up winning by decision. It was a uh, it was a well rounded fight, nothing too crazy. Uh, then the Paul Daly and Eric Silva um, is that the one that that you watched the Eric Silva Paul Daly fight? Yeah. That's the one that I watched. How, how did it go? Because I was going back and forth with this one and the bare knuckle, um, the bare knuckle fights. I mean, I think, yeah. I mean, it was a unanimous deci- decision. I think that was a uh, obviously, yeah. Obviously, Paul Daly won all three rounds. Uh, they were both like going at it, not like swinging crazy. Well, at one point, uh, I believe it was the second round. Uh, Daly caught. Um, shoot, was the second round? I don't remember. He ended up dropping him. Yeah, he. Uh, he well, fuck. He jumped in twice, I believe. Oh shit! Once with, 
Ah, oh, damn. Well, I know he dropped him once with an uppercut, and then like, shh, fuck, my memory fucking sucks. Point is, like, at one point, I know he dropped daily dropped a silver with an uppercut, but I don't know if he got up and this is like when daily like went crazy. But at one point during the fight, uh, daily like uh, hurt Silva. And uh, Silva was just up against the cage, and like Daly uh, put uh, his hand up against his face and mm -hmm. uh, did a spinning elbow. Oh, yeah, he was just uh, he threw a after that, he threw a, a head kick, but he missed, so he like lost balance and like almost fell. Yeah, he was just going crazy. Like, I was almost uh, not scared, but I was like worried that uh, you know, when people like go crazy, like there's a chance of like them getting caught you know yeah they're exposing themselves uh, i thought like silva might um might catch, catch him. him yeah but no like so it was a good fight then yeah it was a good yeah. fight but yeah daily obviously won all uh all, all rounds all, all rounds oh, yeah. okay i i thought he would he probably um lost lost some rounds because when i switched back because i was watching the bare knuckle when they were like you know the one minute break i went back to the to the daily fight uh -huh. and i saw him um I saw Eric Silva taking him down. Uh -huh. So I was like, oh, this is probably going to be the same where someone takes Daly mm -hmm. down and just wins a no, decision he didn't, like that. he didn't do much. No? Yeah, it was probably, um, yeah, not many takedowns. Yeah, like I said, Daly, yeah, he Daly won was, all three rounds. All right. He did more damage. And then the main event that really started early, so, so Bellator is <laughs> doing some weird shit where the main event, Musasi and Lovato Jr., that was on the on the Bellator app. So before all the before um, Gallagher, before before Silva and Daly, they had this fight earlier on the Bellator app, which is the main event. Which the is the main event, fight. which doesn't make no sense. So that one, the Manhof and some other fight, they had it on there. Then they had the undercard at a later time on Paramount Network and the Zone. Which is weird. So I ended up missing this fight, but I we literally watched it. Well, he I even ended up watching it what online. Yeah, online. Yeah, I watched it right before now. the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I was watching it. Uh, Lovato Jr. winning the first two rounds um, by taking Musasi down, controlling him, not doing that much damage. In the second round, he was landing some pretty good shots. So he was, you know, down two two rounds to zero. Then in the third round. He takes Musasi down again. Then Musasi reverses him. So he's landing this hard heavy, ground and pound, yeah, heavy, heavy ground and pound, which I was like, oh, it's a, it's close to, to possibly being stopped. Then they go to the fourth round. Musasi, you know, dominates the stand up. He even dropped Lovato with an uppercut. I think that's what you were getting confused daily with this one, the uppercut. No, no, nah. no, Daly, oh, <laughs> no, shit. I was like, nah, Daly, like, definitely got so much. Yeah. But Musasi, yeah, ended up dropping him with a with an uppercut, which if they would, and, I, and I, I've been saying this too, they got to implement more 10-8 rounds in, in MMA. Because mm -hmm. that fight, let's say if he wouldn't have dropped him, easy 10-9, right? But then you drop him, you hurt him, you almost finish him, that should be a fucking 10-8 round. And they don't do that. Especially in Bellator. They never do 10 8 <laughs> rounds. That's a 10 8 round, so that could have been a draw if they would have given him a 10 8. One, one judge gave, gave it a draw. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah. Oh, shit. Yes, Unle yeah. Unless he gave a 10 8 round. That's what he did. Maybe. Because the first two rounds, we know Lovato won. Yeah. Third and fourth, we know Musashi. Gegard won. And the fifth round, Lovato just put the pressure, ended up taking Musasi down. And just, you know, was trying to submit him, but he didn't really land damage. So I think, um, yeah, that yeah, fucking judge, judge, he judge, gave it a 10-8. It was 27-27, uh, I believe. I, I, yeah, I think so. So it was five rounds. So he must have gave it, Musasi a 10-8 round for a round. There you go. For, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fuck, they got to get, you know, more of those judges. So Musa damn Musasi loses. Lovato is now ten and zero, and he's a champ at middleweight. Oh, he's ten and zero. Yeah, ten and zero. Well, I thought well, I thought he was eight and zero before this fight, but mm -hmm. I guess he was nine and zero before this fight. Dude, that's crazy. He does not have a lot of fights, and he's already champ. Yeah, Musasi has forty five wins, seven losses, two draws. More than fifty. Fuck, what fifty four fights? Fifty four compared. Imagine like. 
like what what commission would allow that, right? Or well, I guess, right? Because you're undefeated, nine and zero, nine and zero. You're fighting a guy that was forty five and six. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't think that should matter. You think so? Like, well, the committee. What? Well, I'm guessing because he was undefeated. Mm-hmm. Let's say he was. Um, he had the same amount of of, of fights, and he was um, four and four. I, they probably wouldn't have sanctioned that fight. Four and four against forty five oh, and seven. Yeah. No fuck. No. You know? Yeah. Based on the record, they're like, oh, he's undefeated, nine and no. Yeah. Okay, we'll sanction it. And I'm sure, based off of his performances, like, there's not just gonna like give a like ten and old guy who who fights cans, right? Yeah. A, a title shot. Yeah. Damn. So what's next? I, I it's weird. Like in in Bellator, I never really know the rankings. Do yeah, they even have them? They don't have rankings. I don't think they'll probably have like unofficial rankings, but like on a third. Oh party, yeah, on that's third true. We website. talked about that. But it's not like it's not official, so you can't really go based off of that. But I mean, uh, Lovato said he was open to a, a rematch with Musasi. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't even know who else is in there. Uh, what is this middleweight? Yeah, right. yeah, middleweight, middleweight division. Yeah, the middleweight's not it's not I that no stack. Idea. Like their welterweight, the welterweight yeah. division. And now we're gonna go to the um, the UFC fight card. So f- isn't this weekend? Yup. Who the fuck is it? Damn, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Look at this. Oh, shit. Look. <laughs> and Ganu and Dos I don't know this was this weekend. Holy shit! Damn. Damn, this one's scary. Like. You're gonna like yeah. don't do nothing while that fight's don't on. Do don't fucking yeah, go get real. a drink. Fuck I'm, no. Don't look away. Don't get on your phone. Put your phone on silent. That shit. All right. This is almost a guarantee that it's not gonna go to a decision. Yeah, I mean you. Because Francis has his confidence. You know, it's not gonna uh-huh. be like the Derek Lewis and fight. And JDS too. JDS has his. Who confidence. did he knock out? Or who did he be? Uh, the uh, Tuivasa. Yeah, he knocked out Tuivasa. Yeah. I think that was his last fight. Was it? Dos Santos. Damn, this fight is crazy. I don't even know who to get or who to pick, to be honest. Cause they're well, let's awesome. see the other fight card. Let's see if we know anyone here. What the fuck? Canceled? Tyron Woodley? They were going to have that fight? No, nah, that was... Um, it says canceled. Uh, yeah, but it's it was a different fight. Wait. No, it was gonna be oh, it together. That was that was gonna be that. No, that was gonna be the main event, and the JDS Francis one was gonna be. Oh uh, yeah. On, I think on the on, on the some Joan, other fight. Jones. Yes, yeah. that's true. So they had a. Damn, that sucks. But well, whatever. Yeah, that does suck. Yeah, so, Tyrone Woodley was gonna fight Robbie Lawler this upcoming weekend, but got canceled. So now we have these this, two this main event. So let me see. I guess the flyweight, the co-main event. Uh, Benavides versus Juicier Formiga. They're both on a winning streak. And I'm guessing Benavides has been asking for a title shot against Henry Cejudo for a one, uh, flyweight, 125. And I I think they're making this fight to... Like a contender? Yeah, to, to, see, to, to, to see who's the number one contender to fight for the title. That's why we're doing, they're okay. doing this fight. So that that's a good fight. Um, yeah, so that... Hopefully they the winner actually does f- end up fighting Henry because yeah. Henry's out till twenty twenty he said yeah they didn't what was his, his shoulder right yeah or... his shoulder or hand or both yeah one of it's one of it's messed up and he did say that he's um he's gonna be out until twenty twenty so he has you know a few months to recover so that's why these guys are gonna fight and maybe he'll come down maybe he won't um. To fight one of these guys, and who said it? Um, what that Russian guy that just won, that that's at one thirty five. That's asking for a title shot as well. Funky's asking for a title shot. Aljamain Sterling, and then the other guy, oh, the guy that beat Jimmy Rivera, uh, Peter Yan. Yeah, Peter he Yan. he's talking about hey, <laughs> um, Cejudo's out. So let's fight for a interim title uh-huh. against Sterling, which is good. Yeah, that's a good. He's idea. out. What are, they're gonna wait? What six months? Yeah, no. Fuck no. They're gonna fight for the title. So now we're going into the the main event. And Ganu and Santos, damn, bro. You know what? Who you gonna pick? <laughs> it sounds like you know who you. Gonna I pick. yes, but I'm I'm going with Engano. But Dos Santos has better technique. Yeah. That better boxing for sure. Yeah, he has better boxing. He's more calm. Francis, you know, he's he's explosive, but you could tell he's like, you know, 
I think that comes from not being as experienced, right? Like oh, he's yeah, very like, sure. like you know, ex- you know, he hits real hard. He obviously he does have technique, but not as experienced as JDS. those. Yeah, JDS he's where a boxer. Yeah, where he takes his time. You know, yeah. he takes his time. Even when he hurts you, he he goes after you, but he's technical. Yeah, Francis. No, if he hurts you, he's swinging from from fucking from. Africa, he's swinging, he's bringing that right hand, right? <laughs> this is a scary fight, though. I don't, I don't even want to make a pick. Cause... I'm gonna make a pick, but I'm not gonna bet on this. So I'm stay oh, away. Okay. I'm stay away already. I'm down too much. <laughs> Damn, bro. I'm going with Engano. What? Big... You just said JDS has better boxing. You're no. gonna go with Engano. Yeah, yeah. I'm still gonna go with Engano because I have a feeling he's gonna catch him. Oh, okay. I have a feeling that. Um, and Gano could take uh, more of a shot than JDS. Hey, and Gano's never been like robbed, huh? No. Oh, well, a little bit with um, with Miocic, a little bit. Uh, it was probably more because he was tired. Yeah, but he was in rock yeah. though. I I think if this was if JDS was in his prime before the Kane fights mm-hmm. and taking all the damage, oh, I would have taken yeah. JDS. But I think that he could still get hurt easier than than Francis can. Francis. Fuck, dude, this is crazy though. Is is so it's five rounds. It's not gonna make it. I don't think it's gonna make it past Probably the. Not. It's not gonna go to the championship rounds. Who knows? If it man. reaches the third round, I'll be impressed. Just don't end within one minute. <laughs> I not? want. I want to enjoy it. <laughs> what? You're not gonna enjoy it. I am, minute? but I want to see more violence. Uh-huh. <laughs> damn. I, I yeah. I don't even want to make a pick. I'm not gonna make a pick. No. no. Damn. So yeah, Francis, fucking Francis, I have a feeling he's, you know, he always ends up catching. And you, well, you know, I was gonna say, Francis, if even if he hits you with the forearm, he rocks oh, you, right? Yeah. But remember, Dos Santos hurt Kane the first fight. He hit him with a forearm, kind of, not clean with a punch, but kind of with the forearm kinda. behind the head. That's how he. That's how he hurt him. Hey, this, this is, is one of those fights where, at least for me, you know how there's some fights where, like, your your um, adrenaline starts, like, rushing through your body, like, uh, like before it even starts? Or, like, when it's about to start? Yeah. But the other fights, you're like, oh, like, this is a good fight, but, yeah. like, it's, like, whatever, No, but you this know? one, like, this you're one, nervous. Like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah that, this is a type of fight you're nervous, like, ooh, yeah, oh, that's every, how, every punch that, that they throw, you're like, oh, shit, move. Uh, that's how it was with the, with the cane and... Uh, uh, Francis, Nganu, yeah, yeah, that's how it was too. Because every shot, you know, you're like, move, Kane, yeah. move. <laughs> you're just nervous from. Damn. Yeah, but and this, this is probably uh, whoever wins will probably fight for the title. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, who Miocic is fighting DC, DC. which uh, DC is probably gonna retire after that. You think so? Probably. Mm. Unless they throw millions of dollars at him to to fight Jones, Jones. at heavyweight, that's it. He because there's no one else for him to fight. No. You think he's gonna want to stay and fight fucking Francis? <laughs> I, don't I don't think, think he'll, he'll fight Jones, Jones at at a heavyweight because, because like Jones, Jones said, I don't know if it was an interview. It's I'm a tactic sure Jones is doing, bro. He he's saying that so the UFC could pay him a shitload of money to go up to heavyweight. Mm, you, you think, think so? so? Yeah, fool. He's not stupid because if he's open. And he, yeah, I'll fight him at heavyweight. The UFC, oh, we already got him. Mm-hmm. We don't, you know. And he asked for more money. Mm-hmm. He already wants to fight for the title. I mean, but here, like, anda siendo el pendejo, like, oh no, nah, I don't want to fight him. You know, he's doing this so they could tell him, like, no, we'll give you this much. We'll give you this much. Fool, that fool's smart, fool. Even though he's done stupid shit, I didn't think about that. But he's smart. But uh, hey, but those Santos does have the the. The gr- the ground game advantage, yeah. So if it goes to the ground, but France has been saying that he's confident in his ground game now. So we'll see how how that goes. Um, but yeah, I got Engano. Um, I've been scared to choose. <laughs> so we'll see what happens Saturday night, man. That's um, it. Yep, that's gonna be a good fight. We'll see you guys next week for the recap. Peace.